everybody and welcome back to Becoming Branches. My name's Adam Cook. On the other side of the round table, as you know, is Pastor Dustin McKinney. What's up, everybody? And in the middle of the round table, we have two beautiful women with us. Christina Cook. Alexandra McKinney. Hello. How you doing? We happen to be married to them. It's true, guys. In case you forgot. How did we do that? <laughs> uh, we, we pulled off a miracle. <laughs> it's all Jesus. It is. It, it is, is all Jesus. Jesus. So, guys, as you know, this has been a, a whole uh, series on family. Mm -hmm. And we have, last week, we talked with our lovely wives, kind of getting to know them and mm -hmm. their background on how they came to know us. And uh, what are we getting into today? Uh, well, we're going to dive more into this role of wife, and we want to hear from their perspective, you know, what makes a God-honoring marriage, and mm -hmm. how has God woven this thing together to work for our best. Mm -hmm. So well, let's jump right in, if you guys are ready. Yeah, let's do it. So um, the Bible talks a lot about marriage, and in fact, uh, marriage is often used as an analogy for Jesus and his church, for how much he loves us and cares for us, wants to protect us. So one of the questions we had uh, was how can we as husbands, how can we best love our wives? And so one question I want to get into, kind of a tough one to begin with. Uh, in Ephesians 5, where we've kind of broken that verse down into the various roles, it talks about wives submitting to their husbands mm -hmm. or respecting their husbands and that the authority, that the spiritual authority that God has mm -hmm. placed on the husband. So in this day and age, um, you know, that can be seen as like anti-feminine. That can that, Some people see that as degrading to women, like I have to submit to my husband. Uh, and so we would like to get your take on that as a Christian woman, a Christian wife. Um, what do you feel about that when Ephesians 5 talks about wives submit to your husbands? You know what to say. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. Just we joking. can't take this guy anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, babe, why don't we start with you? What do you think? Yeah, so I feel like we hear this a lot now. I think in, in talking to friends and talking to coworkers and things, I think this is something that truly you hear people struggle with because of the powerful women that have, you know, that are, have come along and that, you know, they see it as, well, I, I just don't want to submit to my husband. I shouldn't have to submit to my mm -hmm. husband, but I think I've always taken this very seriously. And, um, Dustin's always been the spiritual leader mm -hmm. in our house. And I think because of that and because of his relationship with Christ and because of how seriously he takes um, that relationship and, you know, is in the word. And that makes it so much easier for me to know that that's, this is who I'm following. And God has allowed him to be that in our marriage and has shown that um, for us. And so for me, it is that's, that's, I'm holding true to him in that. And even if maybe there's something that we don't agree about, or there's something that I might be struggling with, um, I pray for God to open those doors and to, you know, not necessarily be the one to come full front at him about something, but God open this so we can have a conversation about mm -hmm. it. Um, we purposely put in, um, time in our evening to be with one another, another for those things. Like we want to purposely, have those conversations happening um, between us and, and devotions and things so that we can um, have conversations about maybe things that I feel more strongly about. Um, and he's open to hear those. And so we've been together for a long time. And so it comes more naturally now. And I think that makes it easier. Yeah. And yeah. we are at a time in our lives where we follow Christ um, fast and strong. And, and so that, that makes it easier to submit to um, him and the things that we do in our family. And, and that will... Yeah. Be how we do that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah awesome. Thanks, yeah. babe. Yeah. How about you, Christina? Um, I think that in in our culture right now, especially Western culture, if you mm -hmm. go to some other parts of the world, right. this is, That's you know, well, it's just, it is what it's it is, yeah. and you don't have a, a choice about it. Mm -hmm. um, but when you're looking at our, our, like an American or a Western um, culture, personality um, kind of helps or hinders. Um, this sort of thing. And um, so I, I think uh, about women who have a very, um, um, what's the right word? <laughs> uh, yeah, strong yeah, opinion. Strong, there you go. strong opinion. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this, this is what I think we should do. And um, and you must listen because it's my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, and and I, I have women like that, uh, that I know that are in my family. And I don't have that 
I don't have that. In fact, I am so non-competitive. I, I don't care that actually it's no fun playing games with me because I will lose on purpose. That is true because we are very this competitive. Yeah, like I, I, I don't care uh, about, about most things. Um, and so um, it's, it's in, easy. In fact... But to, just oh, to go a step further, oh, oh, if we have if we have company over or we're playing a game where you have to defeat the person, we play this game and she could win and she gets all squirmish. I do because and you're like, wait for it. She's like not she doesn't like, want to hurt anybody, so, yeah. so she'll like do this. And I know I know she, what card she has, mm -hmm. and I know like she would just won and she'll be like she'll throw out the worst card ever. She's like, oh, I'm and like, you're like no, and then no. she'll just kind of sit there because she doesn't want it. She doesn't want to win. True. That's just who she is. That's true. That's so, and so I, I don't think that there may be people like me out there who, who are uh, very non-confrontational or, uh, you know, what have you. But um, all that to, to say, um, the way that God has designed the marriage, um, regardless of your personality type, he blesses mm -hmm. obedience to his yes. word. Amen. And, and so uh, for someone like me, it's easier for me to say, well, I don't, you know, I don't mind. You know, whatever you think is best, that's easy for me. Mm -hmm. uh, for some women, that might not be so easy. Um, and, and also, we because I know that my husband is seeking to be a godly man, uh, and because I know and I see him, you know, living out his faith, yeah. it makes it easier mm -hmm. even still for mm -hmm. me to, to submit. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. okay. you're following Christ. Yeah. And so I'm following you. And, uh, you know, in occasions, because everybody's, everybody's imperfect in those occasions where, well, maybe my husband is stumbling and, and he is struggling with a, a sin or he's got a hang up. Um, maybe he's holding a grudge against somebody or whatever. It's, it, it's a delicate balance sometimes mm -hmm. to, to walk the line between I'm obeying my husband, but maybe my husband's not obeying God right now. Mm -hmm. uh, and so yes. it, that's why <laughs> you, you pray. Yes. And I love that you said that, Lord, just you soften his heart and you open the doors. Mm -hmm. And, yes. and uh, you know, but whatever happens... We are one team, it's, and right. so there's no. But I think there's a lot separation. of wisdom in the husband, you know, talking about our situation for us husbands, to to lower that pride and to listen to your wife's counsel, Absolutely. and you don't have this demonstrative. Right. It's not like it's that. That's right. not what it's about. And right. I think a lot of women who hear the submissive, they get all prickly. It's right. not. It's not like I'm sitting in a golden with a rod in a chair. It's right. it's yes. a, it's exactly. a teamwork. Yeah, and a great point. Her yeah. and and what I strongly influence. You know, a lot of times Christina will say to the kids, "Well, hey, this, you know, your dad's. You know, ask your dad. He's he has the final word." But I reiterate right behind that, we are a team. Right. Mm -hmm. And your mother's word is my word is the same. Yeah. You know, so I just wanted to validate that. Yeah, as, when your husband says you know, that, it makes you think, oh, yeah, yeah. it's good. You know so, I mean? yeah, yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> but that because, just goes back to what yeah. we are talking about earlier is Christ loved the church. That's exactly. And, right. and he is the ultimate authority. Right. Right. And he That's doesn't exactly right. He doesn't come at us as the tyrant. Right. As he could. Yeah. There's nothing above God. Yeah. But he comes up, what he comes with love, yeah. mercy, grace, gentleness, gentleness yeah. understanding. A bruise right. read, I will not turn away. Exactly. So, when, I, when I think about that, you... And that's exactly what I was gonna where I was gonna go to is you know if you're taking that scripture and you just look at that scripture wives submit to your husbands I can see why people would be upset sure but man look at the whole design yeah. right Amen. right the husbands first he first calls husbands to lay their life down for their wife mm -hmm. to love her to sacrifice for her to listen to her I mean how do you love your wife you respect her you listen to her. Mm -hmm. You take her counsel. You allow her to make decisions. And when you have both of those things working together, mm -hmm. man, yeah. now you really start to see God's design mm -hmm. right. and, and it's perfection. So uh, truly, truly an awesome thing. So we continue to look at Ephesians 5. Well, you know, we just love part of being a husband and a wife is eventually you have kids. Yeah. And eventually sure. those kids like to come in on your podcast, which may happen any second. So I'm just warning everybody out there now, especially if you have. Oh, there it was. You may have heard it. Hey, Harry, you got to go back to the youth room. So, hey, this is real. Yep. Genuine living the life as parents. So, hey, buddy, youth go room. On. We'll talk to you in a second. We'll talk to you in a second. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Love you, bud. There it is. Yeah, life, <laughs> real life, everybody. Wasn't one of ours. <laughs> so.
So anyways, going back to that love that, that uh, Christ calls husbands to have for their wives, sometimes we're pretty dense. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if you knew this, ladies. Guys can be dense. Uh, and sometimes we want to love you the way we want to be loved, <laughs> not necessarily the way that that God has designed you to feel love. And so help us out. Uh, what are some ways that you feel, what are, what are ways that we communicate love for you well? What are things that we do that you feel loved and valued? Christina, I'll let you go first on this one. It's a, it's a, the way that this is um, is phrased, sort of, sort of broad, like <laughs> all men to all women, like all husbands you to all wives, or just my husband specifically. Specifically, yes. Adam, and then we can glean from that Yes, um, I think that um, the way that I, I am a uh, proponent uh, of the idea of love languages, and, and everyone has a way to express love um, that comes naturally to them, mm. they're gifted in. And uh, one thing that, it, you know, if I have advice that any young couple or, or, or even an older couple and you're not really, it's not working very well, um, figure out, you know, mm-hmm. take, they take quizzes. What's your husband's love language and what's yours? And then here's the biggest key. Talk about it, <laughs> you know, yeah. like, uh, and, and, um, we took those color personality, yeah, those Christian do. color personalities. Yeah, I'm blue. She's blue. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm orange. I mean, that does not surprise me. <laughs> orange is like spontaneous. Oh, yeah. yeah. And so, one, what did you want me to take yeah, that? Because I didn't. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. That's what's missing in here. That's what's missing. Yeah. I know mine, but she doesn't know her. <laughs> And it's a guessing game. Is she purple? Is she red? I have no idea. Uh, no, but the, way that, the way that Adam is, and uh, he, he, brings me into situations that that I would never do by myself. Mm. Um, And so his personality and his love languages, um, again, complement mine. And I am able to then love him in in turn in ways that maybe aren't necessarily like the first thing that pop into his head. Mm -hmm. Um, And so if you think about, um, you know, like physical touch, I love hugs. Hugs are my favorite. And I like kisses. I love kisses. Those are my favorite too. And snuggling too. all the time. And snuggling. And here's the thing. I like. It's warm in here right now. And it's I'm, so sweet. And I'm, I'm a little sweaty. Yeah, I'm sweating. So just the thought of another body yeah. heat on me is like, yeah. you've got to be kidding. Yeah. But she would just curl up, get a blanket, and just yeah. oh, and and I. That has to be one of those things where I just you allow it and, yeah, and you allow uh, it. And he's the snuggler. Like he's. Oh, the so you're the snuggler. And, and I, I'm like, yeah, I'm because you're blue. Everybody. You're blue and blue. That everybody. makes sense. Yeah, and I. So then I am forced to hug. Them. Okay, so, so, so she I'm might like, be uh, more every time we walk in. Give me a hug. I love you. <laughs> so when we walk into a room and he's hugging people, I'm like, damn. So I'm falling in behind. I'm like, I'm like, come here, brother. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, I'll have a nice to see you. Well, I, I should probably, I don't hug everybody. Okay, I do. I'm not a hugger. I hug my husband <laughs> and my kids. So like in my, in my, but um, the, he is able to um, love me by um, being sensitive to what he perceives that I am struggling with. There are many times that he sees if I'm stressed out, he'll take the kids and he'll take them out to do something Mm -hmm. Um, because I juggle many plates and he knows that I juggle many plates. And so So he's giving you that time, right? Giving, giving time is a way that he um, shows love for me. Um, And um, also, you know, he, he likes to surprise me with certain things like, Hey, I, I bought you this thing. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Oh, well, that's really kind. Mm -hmm. You know, that makes me feel nice. Thank you. Um, so those are two specific ways, but I think more generally the idea of, of love languages helps mm. so that if, if you're not feeling loved, well, like the person can't always read your mind. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. You know, you need to be... Talk about it. Yeah. yeah. You talk okay. about it. <laughs> yeah. How about you, babe? Yeah. I think thinking of love languages and for myself, it's that um, listening to me and like going out of your way to be attentive to the, those things. Um, and, and really, um, go planning things to spend time with me. So like going out of the way to mm-hmm. plan those things and, and Date nine. yeah, like, which is hard totally. for us, <laughs> but you know, like yeah. squeezing those things in and that intentional time, because that is my love language. Mm-hmm. That's what I want to do. I want that 
his individual attention and and planning time to be with mm-hmm. each other, just ourselves. Even though it's really hard when yeah. you have yeah. kiddos. Yeah. 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 Good stuff yeah. tonight. To try to be intentional. That's, you know. Yes. Um, just hard. Yeah. Well, guys, we're going to continue to dig deep. We got one more episode. We're going to squeeze all the information out of these two women as possible. <laughs> as Will there be a kid outbreak? We never know. <laughs> Probably. We never yeah. know. Sorry, never everybody. <laughs> I love this it. This is the life. I love it because, you know, hey, we, we're real people. We, 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 uh, we're we raw. We love Jesus. Amen. We love each other. We love our kids. Mm-hmm. And... There's nothing more real than that, guys. (laughs) We'll see you guys later. See ya.